I have in front of me here a new product we have on the TV trade uh, .ie website which is called uh, a coaxial female the F uh, adapter. Now we can see um, a sample of the product directly in front of me here. So I just have the two ends of it displayed here. Uh, on the left hand side we have the uh, coaxial uh, female input and on this uh, other end we have a, um, an F type um, input. So uh, the reason that this is a very handy product in, in, the, in the TV industry is because there's two types of widely used uh, connectors uh, for joining coaxial cables. The first traditional type is uh, the coaxial um, uh, connectors here. So on the right hand side we can see a coaxial um, connector and right next to it we have a coaxial joiner. So I'll actually just display that uh, quickly for you here. And uh, what I'll do is I'll just pick up the connector here and just rotate it slightly. And if we were joining together uh, two cables that uh, terminated in coaxial connectors, we'd push this connector in here and we'd repeat the same process on the far side and push in a cable and that would give us a join. Okay? Now, these are very widely used on t uh, all TV sets that have uh, RF inputs uh, use this type of connector and also um, the same would be true with DVDs and um, uh, video recorders, if they have an RF input, it will always be of this type. Now the disadvantage of this particular type of connector is there's a high level of signal loss and if we're running things like a 9 volt um, output uh, for running a sky eye or something, these connectors are a disaster uh, because they have very low levels of uh, transference. Okay, So um, we'll move on then to the F type connector which we have um, displayed here and what we have here is we have an F type um, connector here itself and an F type joiner. Now, um, it's the same basic process. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to rotate around this F connector here so you can see it from the far side. So this again, joiner would be used, which is here, would be for joining two F connectors, uh, uh, cables that terminate in F connectors. And how it works, instead of being a push in like the coax is, it's actually a screw on. So you just go to rotate it around slightly. What we do is we simply get the connector here, we we'll rotate it and we'll join it on like that, okay? Now the advantage of this is, so increasingly this has been uh, becoming the standard in the industry, so with satellite receivers for uh, satellite inputs, things like that, all with F connectors, and the big advantage of it is, um, they're cheaper to manufacture, number one, but uh, the main advantage is that they give a much, much more secure, better join and better tra uh, signal transfer, okay? So um, in terms of where would we, would we use this uh, coaxial uh, female to F uh, adapter, well I can take a two specific examples where we would use it. Now the first one is, I'm just going to show you a cable here, where um, imagine a scenario where we have two uh, cables which we want to join together. Uh, one uh, terminates in a coax and the other terminates in an F connector. Well, um, there's no real way of joining these two cables together um, with our traditional uh, coax and Fs uh, because uh, without actually taking off one of these connectors and turning it into an FF with, a, with an F joiner or a coax coax with a coax joiner. But um, if we pick up this adapter here, which I'm just going to bring into focus now, um, we can actually slide this over the coaxial connector here, and it slides on like that, and we can just rotate it around, and then we can click this in and screw it in, and now we've joined a thing. So it's a very, very fast labor saving, and actually saves in materials and costs, okay? So particularly for professional um, satellite installers, great, great item to have, okay? Now I'm going to, I'm finished with this particular one here, so I'm just going to just unscrew this cable here quickly and I'm going to show what would probably be the most common use of it and that is um, with a skybox here. You can see on the back of the skybox we have an aerial in uh, and then we have RF outs and in particular very widely used is this 9 volt RF2 output and normally it's used to power a sky eye so not alone are we running the signal to a second location but it allows us to actually change channels in that second location okay now um, the traditional way of doing this would be to use a coax joiner which would slide into position like this I'll try to do this without blocking the view totally and we push it in and then what we do is we come along and we have a coaxial cable um, that we'd, uh, we'd push into position here. So once again, I'm just going to rotate the box slightly, just give you time to focus, and um, I just push this in, and we have that in situation. Now the problem with this particular type of connector is, um, 
it can be quite troublesome. First of all, we need two connectors. We need this connector and we need the adapter. Uh, and the second uh, problem we have specifically with this is it's quite, quite easy for this cable to pull out like this and then you have a situation where the signal isn't working in the other room and you may not know why, okay? So um, a more effective way of doing this is to use F-joiners because they get a far more secure connection, okay? So I'm going to pick up another adapter here and uh, so the, the, the coaxial uh, female, the F adapter and I'm going to slide this onto the back of the box so this gives quite a secure connection it's quite tight here but more importantly for the cable itself now the cable when we slide it on we can rotate it and twist it into position here and this will give a far more secure join and it's extremely unlikely that uh, this cable will be able to work itself free um, so you know that that's a, a particularly good use of it anyway so um, hopefully um, this video has successfully demonstrated the benefits of um, th th this particular product which is a, a coaxial female uh, the a a F adapter and we sell them on a TV trade website both in ones and uh, in bags of a hundred as well okay that's it beginning to end